Um, it was terrible. Uh, uh, you know, it was. I mean, it was just a tragic deal and shouldn't have happened. And you know, people blame it on a lot of stuff, but nobody knows what we're going on. What was going on between Nancy and Chris? You know. You can't blame it on steroids, you can't blame it on drugs, you can't blame it on anything because nobody knows what was going on in that household. Right. I talked to Chris that day at 11.30, left the doctor's office, and he called me because I was supposed to go see him that week because I was off. And uh, I was going to, because sometimes like when I'm off, I'll drive up to Atlanta and we'll have lunch together or whatever. So you're really close to Chris? Yeah. Okay. And um, just for something to do, I'd go up there and he'd want to get out of the house. And I didn't go. And he called me and he asked me, he said, why the fuck didn't you, didn't you come over? I'm like, well, I knew you just got home, you know, and I figured you want to spend some time with Nancy, blah, blah, blah. No, no, you know, I was waiting for you to call me. I, you know, we were going to go eat, get something to eat, and blah, 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 all that. And it's like, okay, well, next time I'll come over, Chris. And, you know, and he's like, all right. And I said, um, he said, what have you been doing? And, you know, just small talk. Right. And then I said, uh, how are you and Nancy getting along? Because I knew they weren't that well. He said, she's acting like Hitler. I'm like, oh, okay. And I just kind of laughed it off a little bit because the way he said it, you know, it was kind of comical in a sense. Right. You know, nothing comical about what happened. Don't get me wrong. You know, no disrespect to uh, Nancy or anything. But it just, it was, um, um, <clears throat> He sounded fine on the phone, you know, and I guess he went home and killed killed Nancy, you know. Right. I, th I think I was the last person he talked to before he killed her, well, you know, so I think I was, but we were close. It was, you know, it bothered me a little bit because I felt like, you know, because you never know if, if, if like, if I'd have went up there that Wednesday and ate with him, it might have changed everything on Friday. Hmm. Or, I'm sorry, on Wednesday when he got home, or what, whatever day it was he got home. But, um, I felt like it might have changed everything, you know, because... You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, definitely, 100%. You know, it could have changed the events... Of, that took place and right. maybe they wouldn't have gotten a fight that day or you know if I'd have went, went there and hung out with them and you know I, I don't know you know and, and and it bothered me for a little while that you know well shit I should have went and saw them because then maybe it wouldn't have happened right you know but you know and then I just had to realize you know shit happens <laughs> some people say his behavior was kind of odd leading up to the whole tragedy as far as him being paranoid and all. Did you ever see that in Chris? No, because um, we rode together for a little while before all that happened. Right. And he seemed, he's just normal Chris, quiet, laid back, and just polite to everybody. Do you think it's too easy for, uh, I guess, well, actually, let me backtrack. Do you think the government at all would get involved after that happened with the whole concussions and drugs? Did you think that was going to happen? or? Oh, yeah, I knew it would. Do you think they have a, a right to get involved? They don't get involved when drunk drivers kill people. So, what's the difference? And more drunk drivers kill people than somebody who takes steroids. Right. You know? What is your take on the whole steroids and pain pills in the business? Well, the thing is, I look at it like if, like, our bodies go through a lot, and everybody takes something, because there's no way humanly possible that you can go night after night after night with the injuries you have and not take anything. You have to. Right. You know, and like, um, as far as the steroids, you know, like, you know, I was taking DECA, and that helped my joints. And as soon as they made us start getting off all that stuff, that's when my joints started hurting even worse. You know, but, you know, you got, you got to do what they want you to do, and, you know, and that's just the way it is. 
You know, I, I don't I don't think the government should have gotten involved with it. You know? Okay. 